Hi, and welcome to the Extrude 3D Camera Mode tutorial. In this video, we're gonna cover cameras, 3D transforms, all the fun stuff. I have two separate layers here, and the reason for that is that I wanna apply independent 3D transforms to each. So I'm gonna add Extrude, I'm just add my preset color scheme here, set that to 3D Camera, and because I have two copies, I wanna copy this with property links and now they're linked up. You might be thinking, okay, let's go ahead and convert this to a 3D layer, but effects that use cameras in After Effects should be applied to 2D layers. So let's turn that back to a 2D layer. If we move this layer in X and Y, it is indeed applying the 3D perspective to that based on the default camera, but we can't really apply 3D transforms to it without it being a 3D layer. So instead, what we can do is create a camera, and the way that I do this is just with Handycam to simplify things, and then we can rotate the entire scene, and we'll see, yeah, yes indeed, this is 3D. Uh, but how do we go about adding 3D transforms to this? I want to add a 3D transform to the mode, and the way we do this is come into 3D transform, I'll just unparent the anchor, and do set up null. And what that will do is create a null layer here that is responsible for transforming this layer. So I'll just call this mode transform. And now we can independently transform this text layer as opposed to the top one. Now in terms of the extrusion, if we come around here and come to 90 degrees, we'll see that we're sort of orbiting about the front face where I want to orbit around the middle of the extrusion. So what we'll do is in 3D, let's extrude it a bit more, 200 say, and then the front will do minus 200. And what that means is now that the anchor of the extrusion is a middle, so that's good. What's really cool about the 3D mode is that unlike directional, which has no perspective, or vanishing, which has all perspective, with 3D camera mode, we can dial in exactly the amount of perspective we want. And we do that with the lens and the, specifically the depth of field. So I'm gonna rotate this a little bit. And let's say we want it to be isometric. We set dolly zoom and then we increase the focal length really high. Now we basically have isometric text. You might notice that if we rotate to certain camera angles, this is really not looking correct. And that's because these are separate layers. They do not intersect with each other. They simply render in the order that you have them inside After Effects in the layer stack. So in this example, we'd want mode to be on the bottom. In this case, that was an easy fix, but in other cases, it may be more complex. It just depends on how many layers you have. If you have all the extrusions on the same layer, you'll never have to worry about that. It just depends. So getting back to lensing, we can also go the other way and say, let's add heaps of perspective, make it really wide, we can even get like a crazy fisheye lens here. Yeah, we can see the result of that. So you can tweak exactly how much perspective you want. I'm gonna keep it at maybe 35, just a normal lens. And let's go back to the front and I'm gonna create some animation. Let's start by rotating this um, mode here. I wanna rotate it 360 degrees and I'll add ease and width to that. So let's see what that looks like. And then to transition in, I'm gonna dolly in, start with a dolly that goes all the way in until we can't see the text and then dolly out. And I made that to zero and apply the same easing. Then if we play that back, that's looking pretty good. I think it might look a little better if we also added some perspective in terms of this. Okay, now we've got it the wrong way around. The mode needs to be above the 3D. Yeah, looking good. So that's pretty much it for working with Extrude on 3D layers. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy using Extrude.